I got scammed by a regulated broker last year and I don't want you guys to go through the same thing. In this video, I'm going to go over my experience with that broker. I'm going to go over which brokers to stay away from, the broker that I'm currently using and how to find the best broker for you. So let's get right into it. So the broker that scammed me is called Moga FX. Now, if you look at their website, you can see it looks like a very professional website. Um, you can also see that there's a hundred dollar minimum deposit, one to five hundred leverage, and twenty four hour support. The communication is pretty good with Moga FX as well. They do actually have people on standby to speak to you if you have any questions. They also offer forex, commodities, indices, CFDs. You can use MetaTrader Four, MetaTrader Five. Uh, and there's crazy amounts of ways to deposit and withdraw your funds from Mogra FX. Now, if we look right at the bottom, you'll be able to see that it is regulated by some Australian authorities. But unfortunately, even though they're supposedly regulated, there's not actually much that these companies can do. Now, I started using Mogra FX because someone reached out to me and said, hey, we would love for you to work with us. Uh, we offer this, 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 this. Um, and basically, I looked into it. It looked okay. I saw that they were regulated and I put my trust into that person. Now I started trading with them and things were going okay but I started seeing lots more people saying that Moga was a scam and stuff like that. People were struggling to withdraw their funds and I had already introduced a few people to Moga FX at this point. So I said to them, look, get your money out of Moga. We're gonna switch brokers uh, just to something that's a little bit more safe. A few people were able to withdraw their funds and then myself and a friend of mine uh, tried to withdraw our funds and they would not let us. They started asking me questions, asking me why are people leaving the platform. They asked me what I needed my money for, um, and they started asking me questions like, when will you return? How much will you deposit when you next deposit? Um, and things like this. Now, of course, my response was, it's my money, just give me my money, right? Um, and this went on for a long time, and basically they didn't actually give me my money back. I have tried to contact the authorities that uh, are supposedly regulating this company, uh, but I have not been able to get through to anyone. Now, Moga FX is actually Chinese, uh, but they're regulated in Australia. So the whole thing is just weird, it's dodgy, do not use this broker, please stay away from this broker because they will take your money. Now, I'm not exaggerating when I say I've tried a million different brokers. All right, maybe I am a little bit, but I've had accounts with Traders Way, JAFX, FX Way, uh, obviously Moga, Hugo's Way. I've used Hot Forex, I've used Oanda, I've used XM, I've used Osprey FX. I've used every broker you can think of. The broker that I actually used for the longest amount of time was actually Hugo's Way. Now, Hugo's Way actually offer one to 500 leverage, also a $10 minimum deposit, meaning pretty much anyone can use this broker to trade with. Um, that you can trade cryptocurrency, Forex, indices, everything that you can think of, you can trade with this platform. I found it very, very good for Forex and gold. I don't think the spread is the best for cryptocurrency. Problem with this broker is they are not regulated. The only way you can deposit to this broker is through cryptocurrency um, and also withdraw through cryptocurrency. Now for me, it was super easy because I could deposit or withdraw and I would have my money in my account the same day but it's also scary because that comes with a lot of risk. This company could potentially take your money and there is nothing you can do about it. So I would only ever recommend this broker to someone who's literally just looking to mess around. If you're looking to gamble with 100 quid, 200 quid, uh, then fair enough, you can use this broker because that's money that you don't care about, okay? So only put money into this that you don't care about. You're looking to gamble with it. Maybe you're trying to flip a small account or something like that. Hugo's way is perfect for that. But remember, you can easily lose your money and there is nothing you can do about it. Now, the broker that I'm currently using, which is actually my favorite broker, is Vantage Markets. Now, the only downside to Vantage Markets is it's not open to the US or Canada, um, and I believe it's not open to some Asian countries too. So before you make an account, make sure you go and have a look and see whether it's actually available to you or not. So if we quickly have a look at the website, you can see there is a 200 pounds minimum deposit, but they do have extremely low spreads depending on which account you choose. They are FCA regulated, 
meaning they physically cannot rob you because it's much easier to get your money back from a company that is FCA regulated. And you can trade loads and loads of different things. You can trade Forex, uh, crypto, indices, etc., etc. Vantage also offers a load of different ways to deposit money and withdraw. So it does make it very easy to deposit and withdraw um, if you're in different countries. And the last thing that I love about this is they have a UK phone number. So if you do need to reach someone, you can can actually call a UK landline number for free and get through to their customer services. So I will leave a link to Vantage in my description, but if you're in the US or Canada, or you're just someone who wants to look for your own broker, the things that you need to look out for, first of all, I would recommend you choose a broker that is in your own country. Because like I said, it's gonna be easier to get hold of someone. Um, and also if it's regulated by regulations in your country, it's most likely going to be safer. Secondly, before you make an account with any broker, make sure you go to Google and you check out their reviews. Reviews are extremely important. If something goes bad, everyone is straight onto the internet complaining about it. So for a company to have more positive reviews than negative reviews, is extremely, extremely important. It means that they're doing something phenomenally well. The next thing you need to look out for is who they're regulated by as well. If they are not regulated by an extremely powerful authority uh, like the FCA or the FTC, then probably don't use that broker. Because like I said, with Mogra FX, they were regulated, but the authorities that they were regulated by were just not very strong. So anyways, I hope this video has helped you. Don't get scammed. If you do need anything, please let me know. Make sure you also join the trading community. I will leave a link in the description and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I will see you all soon.